a decade ago, a man's fantasy became reality in a form never seen before. Kitchen Stadium, a giant cooking arena. The motivation for spending his fortune to create Kitchen Stadium was to encounter new original cuisines, which could be called true artistic creations. Out of cuisine! To realize his dream, he started choosing the top chefs of various styles of cooking. And he named his men the Iron Chefs, the invincible men of culinary skills. Iron Chef Japanese is Roksaburo Michiba. Iron Chef French is Hiroyuki Sakai. Iron Chef Chinese is Chen Kenichi. And Masahiko Kobe is Iron Chef Italian. Kitchen Stadium is the arena where Iron Chefs await the challenges of master chefs from all over the world. Both the Iron Chef and Challenger have one hour to tackle the theme ingredient of the day. Using all their senses, skills, creativity, they're to prepare artistic dishes never tasted before. And if ever a Challenger wins over the Iron Chef, he or she will gain the people's ovation and fame forever. Every battle, reputations are on the line in Kitchen Stadium, where master chefs pit their artistic creations against each other. What inspiration will today's challenger bring? And how will the Iron Chef fight back? The heat will be on! If memory serves me right, I've mentioned often that selection of challengers is the most difficult of my many tasks. But my time and efforts are not in vain. My efforts are rewarded once again with the acceptance of my invitation by an incredible French chef. This man's name first came to my attention in 1980. The rumor was that the plate serving his dishes came back to the kitchen spotless. This meant that guests were compelled to consume every last drop of his sauces on the plates. Thus, he was referred to as the God of Sauces. My observation of him is uh, uh, a man of discipline. He really is. In cooking, he makes no compromise. His sauces are amazing. You're drawn in just by looking at them. Chefs say if you want to learn about sauces, go to Joe's place. Hmm. I take great pleasure in introducing him, the god of sauces, a heavyweight in French cooking in Japan, head chef of Bavsan, it's Lord Joe. His first attempt to enter the field of cooking at age 18 was rejected by Maxime in Ginza. He was left with no choice but to leave for Europe and did apprenticeship. His first two years in France followed by several more in Germany, Switzerland and Belgium, a total of six years. And upon his return to Japan, he was accepted by Lacan in Ginza, and in a mere three years found himself heading the kitchen. Word of Joe's sauces spread rapidly, and soon later this reputation spread nationwide, attracting professional chefs attempting to tap into the secrets of his sauces. In 1992, he was recruited by Bonson in Roppongi, Tokyo. Joe is undoubtedly the top chef in making French sauces in Japan, and critics say part of his secret is his depth of knowledge in wine selection for sauce making. Following the golden road of authentic French cuisine, his magical sauces harmonize all ingredients on the plate into one artistic entity. This legendary man, known as the God of Sauces, shall finally step into my kitchen stadium. Needless to say, he poses a grave threat. I wish I could fight all three Iron Chefs together, you know? Well, if I had the chance of taking down all three of them together, that must feel great, you know? <laughs> yeah. All the more interesting. So now, Joe, show us the magic of the mighty hand of the god of sauces. I've come here to win, you see? So I'd like you to enjoy my message, a message from uh, Joe. <laughs> and please look forward to it.
And at last, we've been waiting a long time for this one, a legendary French chef coming in here to do battle against one of the Iron Chefs. And befitting what promises to be an epic matchup, our guests today are the former Prime Minister of Japan, Toshiki Kaifu, and his wife, Sachio. It's our pleasure. Thank you. Thank you for inviting us. Uh, Mr. Prime Minister, when you would speak before the Diet, I never noticed any nervousness on your part, but how about today? Oh, uh, whenever uh, I go on debate programs on TV, I admit I'm a bit nervous, but uh, today I'm very, very nervous. Oh, really? I have to say, even now, I'm not sure if I can make comments that are worthy wow. of this show. Well, I think you'll do okay. you got the lucky so? lady here today, <laughs> and we're glad to have you. And Mrs. Kaifu, from what I understand, you're quite knowledgeable about wines, right? <sighs> Are we going to have wine today? It may turn out to be a key element, I think. Oh, really? I look forward to it. Okay, and enjoy the battle. Thank you. And sitting in the commentator seat today, a man who look, knows a lot about the challenger, Honorary Iron Chef Yutaka Ishinabe. Welcome. Thank you very much. All right, let's bring on Chairman Kaga. Nihon no France Diori Kai wo ishippatte kita. ちょ、大物がついにこのキッチンスタジアムにやってまいりました。伝統的フランス料理にこだわり続けるソースの神様です。さあ、皆さん大きな拍手でお迎えください。フレンチの超大物、万山料理長、ジョーエソ。and entering the stadium, the, well, no, not yet entering the stadium, the saw specialist staring down the chairman. What's going on here? And once more, his name called, and now, yes, Joe does enter the stadium. He's already shaken things up before we've even started. This is going to be a battle of wills today. Thank you. え、お皿がですね。はい。真っ白になって帰ってくるというその伝説のソース。あは。そのソースを今日はこの場で全国の皆様に見せることになるわけです。よろしくお願いします。Well, that's okay. Um, as I always try to strive for sauces that go beyond normal uh, standards. じっくりと見させてもらいます。Thank you, sir. さあ、それでは我が美食アカデミーが誇る3人の鉄人を登場させましょう。よみがえるアリアンシェ。Now ascending into Kitchen Stadium, the nation's culinary leaders, your Iron Chefs. Iron Chef Chinese Chen Kenichi, Iron Chef French Hiroyuki Sakai, and Iron Chef Japanese Roxabro Michiba. Here they stand, the invincible men of culinary skills. 本当は I really wanted to try that. Definitely. Oh, yes. Michiba-san is my target. Surprise! Michiba the one. Joe declining Sakai instead opting for the man regarded as the mightiest of the Iron Chefs. Iron Chef Japanese Roksaburo Michiba, who continually breaks new ground by going beyond the Japanese cuisine. Still ever explorative, he'll need to be on top of his game against the sauce master today. フレンチの超大物に何を料理させようか。私はありきたりな素材ではダメだと思いました。そこで思いついたのがキャベツの。品種改良によって生まれたあの緑黄色野菜ですそれでは発表します今日のテーマはこれです今日のテーマブラッコリー What a battle coming our way, the nation's preeminent leaders in Japanese and French cooking, Iron Chef Michiba, the spirit of 96, Challenger Joe, his sauces will be featured, must see TV, we're set, let's get it on! On it, Bang a gong, we are on, and it's 
going to be a dynamite 60 minutes of cooking, and Joe, the first one up to the stand, and he'll have first crack at the broccoli up there. Yeah, mine's spinning, thinking what to make, but he's up there. Oh, yeah. This one's like a heavyweight title fight. Normally four dishes? Right, yes, right around there. And Kaipasan, you like broccoli? Yes, I have it quite often, and I like it. All right, now I know this may sound a little funny to a former prime minister, but uh, how would you cook uh, broccoli? Probably. Oh, I don't want to discourage the appetite of the viewers. <laughs> okay, diplomatic answer there. Uh, Mrs. Kaifu, how would you cook it? What dishes come to mind? Normally, broccoli is part of a side menu. Uh huh. Yeah, yes. kind of like a running mate. Mm -hmm, that's my point. I think they have a difficult task today. All right, we shall see what they come up with. And uh, Ishinabe san, uh, challenger Joe. One of the yes. more confident-looking challengers we've had, especially that entrance today. Uh, what about that moniker, the god of sauces? Uh, Joe-san's sauces go without explanation. I just want to add that also he's very good at cooking vegetables. All right. Uh, he's actually written a book on how to cook vegetables. Okay, didn't know that. So he yeah. gets a veggie theme ingredient, one you can certainly sauce up. So this is one of the stiffest tests for the Iron Chef so far in this battle today. Oh, it could be. I mean, I'm at the edge of my seat on this one. All right, and challenger Joe. Uh, from the floor, Shin to go. I've got some comments from Iron Chef Sakai who says he's breathing a sigh of relief. He says, Joe and I are really close, and win or lose, I really didn't want to battle him, so I'm so glad he picked Michibasa. <laughs> All right, and hearing that, the tension breaks, the Iron Chef lightens up, but you gotta wonder for a Japanese chef, this theme ingredient, probably not a lot in the broccoli playbook. Uh, and that'll be an aspect worth watching today, see how he adapts to that. Fukuzan! Yes? You probably noticed Challenger Joe smiling when he heard the theme ingredient announced. What he said was, hey, I think I have the edge today. Yes, we caught that when the theme was unveiled. Joe couldn't suppress his grin while on the other side, Michiba's expression. Well, um, I don't think I could say what it looked like he might be thinking. Anyway, now here he is working on the stems. Ah, uh, yes, he is. Okay, any possibilities as to how he used them? Um, well, this part is not so hard. They're pretty soft and quite good. Actually. Yes, it's very good. I like them. Oh, me too. All right, and uh, the Iron Chef chopsticks at the ready. The samurai spirit as he gets into his signature broth of vigor right there. And look at him. Load in the yes. katsuobushi. Uh, you load in this much in the kitchen at home, Mrs. Kaifu? No way. We'd be broke by now if we did. <laughs> <laughs> we can enjoy the rich version today. Only in Kitchen Stadium can you enjoy this. And here now the challenger and Ishinabe-san. Is he preparing to make a sauce with this one right here? What do you think? Uh, actually, this looks like a form of pudding, possibly. All right. In the blender, a pudding is what you'd surmise from this? Uh, yeah, the, the broccoli pudding, I guess. Okay. Ah. And uh, would that end up being sweetened in any way, do you think? Uh, no, no, I think it's just a mix of eggs, cream, broth, and uh, a little salt and pepper. Okay. Fukuzan? It sounds very good. From the floor, yes. Yeah, I asked our chef Michiba what he thinks about today's theme ingredient. He said, I have no advantage with this. I mean, I know this is top quality broccoli, but we just barely started to use broccoli at my restaurant just recently, he says. All right, just as we thought, perhaps taking out some of his frustration on the octopus legs there. Iron Chef Michiba's record coming into this battle is sparkling. 23 wins against just two losses, the best among the Iron mm -hmm. Chefs. Hello. And with his incredible ability to improvise, cook on the fly, along with his skills and all he's learned by cooking in this format, he has bounced out a number of big names who've come in here. He's got a big one on the other side today. And now this going into the ice cream machine on Joe's yeah, side. Yeah, I noticed that. The, that the, the first one was anglaise sauce. Mm -hmm. So I think this one's a dessert. A dessert. All right. Uh, Ice cream? Y you mean broccoli ice cream? Broccoli so. ice cream. Well, that's a new one to me. <laughs> Maybe the first in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Not so appetizing. Well, I think it is. <laughs> Could be the world's first broccoli ice cream <laughs> right here. <laughs> yes. In this bowl that you can see the Iron Chef uh, is working on, he has a mixture of octopus legs, salt and pepper, olive oil, onions, tarragon scallops, and abalone so far. All right. Mm, seafood what delight. Like? Yes, you could say. But the assortment of ingredients mixed in the bowl there as we... Uh, Get in for a closer look. I would have to say it's rather unusual for a Japanese dish. And now, let's see, on the challenger sides, broken out the circle molds. That's Sakai territory. Looks like the broccoli here has been boiled. Yeah, that's right. And packed into the rings, and we'll see what else they do with those. There is room for more. Fukuzan! Yes. The Iron Chef also has his frying pan in action, which contains onions, tomatoes, and olive oil. All right, right here. This one here, yes. Okay, tomatoes, onions, olive oil. Sounds Italian. Not Japanese style. No, Mr. Prime Minister, I think you got it right, Italian. <laughs> yes. That's what he's got. And whoa! whoa. Joe on fire. Puree? Wow. Tomato puree going More in. More than a little flamola, flambe there. 
tomato puree going in. More than a little flamola. Flambe. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Joe firing it up right there. Mm. Okay. And uh, Omar Lobster, I believe, too. Omar, mm. yes. Mm. And look at the flammability factor there. Man alive, Joe, bringing the fire. Oh, this is so exciting just watching this. <laughs> <laughs> it is getting hot in here. And still on Joe's side, broccoli in the circle molds and a mayonnaise-based sauce, perhaps, over there? Uh, yeah, maybe hollandaise sauce or something, I believe. Okay, and now here, it's... Uh, oh, crab. Okay, got some crab meat boiled. I'll take that one. Uh, yeah, just lightly, though. Okay, and with the color of the broccoli so green and the color contrast and presentation of the dishes mm. should come into play today. And the colors here, green with the light reddish orange and the crab meat being prepared by Challenger Joe. Meantime, the Iron Chef all red here, a deep red tomatoes being cooked up, and that'll be combined with the green of broccoli, the theme ingredient for this battle today. The color contrast is very nice. The different colors combined with green. Mm, yes. <laughs> Wonderful. And check it out, truffles. Yeah, truffles, right. Right here on the Challenger side, and uh, Mrs. Kaifu, just wondering, uh, at times, do you ever cook truffles in any, work with truffles in your cooking? I have never, ever used that kind of expensive <laughs> vitamin at home. You, ha you haven't? No, no. All right, so the Kaifu is just regular folks at home, I take it. <laughs> He's a civil servant, you know. Not, okay, not living high on the hog then. Okay. <laughs> yes, Iron Chef Mitsuba commenting on Challenge Joe says, I've never been to his restaurant, but somebody told me that he has tried mine, so he might have a pretty good idea of what to expect from me. The problem is, I don't know him enough to read his mind, and he's one of the very best of the younger generation, so I'm a little scared. This isn't going to be easy. Okay, says Joe's part of the younger generation. <laughs> well, I guess if you're from Chiba, he is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Challenger Joe is, what, 47, 48? I'd say he's old enough. And now this, what do we have here? Mm, uh, that one. I've been watching the Iron Chef. He's fun to watch. Because? Um, I think he's making lasagna. Okay, and with this one to go with the octopus. Yeah, right. Okay, octopus and mushroom there. And now back with the challenger, standing tall and looks to be a sauce, the pot in front right uh, yeah. there. Uh, Perigu or perhaps I truffle? Just something close to that, yes. Okay, and the little black bits there, they are truffles, uh, right? I believe so, yeah. Okay. Yes. Since he's so masterful at making wonderful sauces, I asked Challenger Joe just how many sauces he's going to show us today. And his response was only one. He says, I'm betting it all on one great sauce. Well, what do you know? Just one sauce. Joe's going to let the whole thing ride on what he hopes turns out to be one fantastic sauce. Look at the Iron Chef. Okay, here on the Iron Chef, unloading this in Ishinabe-san. Would he be serving this just as is? Uh, no, no. I think on top of this... He might um, go with the sauce, too. Yeah, the tomato sauce on top. And then add the uh, flowers of broccoli and breadcrumb mix in olive oil. Mm -hmm. And that would go on top of this before going into the oven. All right, and just wonder what cuisine this would belong to it here. It looks good. <laughs> Whatever it is. Yeah. No doubt about that. And Ishinabe-san, you were right. There he goes with the tomato sauce. Uh, yeah, it looks like he's making a mousse now. Okay, oh, over yeah. here, Challenger Joe. And uh, pan-fried broccoli. All right. And... Uh, I think probably a whitefish, along with this. Okay. Yeah. 30 minutes have been All right, a whitefish paste there, and you just heard it. 30 minutes gone, 30 to go into the second half of this star-studded broccoli battle. Fukusan? Yes. When I asked the Iron Chef if he was going to skip his menu writing, he confided that he's still haunted by the battle where he got behind when writing his menu, and he said, I'll have to see if I have time later. Yeah, <laughs> I haven't seen him break out brush and paper yet, but uh, here, breaking out the broccoli, he is. And uh, he's adding some flavor to this one here. Oh, I see. And then you squeeze them. Okay. And, um, and so right. getting and, a uh, flavoring bonito. treatment from the broth. Right, there. and the bonito shavings going on as well. Uh, okay. Yeah. This is a style done in Western Japan. Okay, with the sprinkling of dried bonito right. shavings going over the broccoli pieces. Now, check it out, Joe's side, the broccoli oh, ice cream. Oh, it's already Amazing. done. Wow. <laughs> now, you, you'll have to tell me this one has been squeezed. I think so, definitely. Okay, yeah. it's ice cream, and I guess you could say it's loaded with fiber and calcium. And now, back to the oh, Iron oh, Chef. Uh-huh. Cheese and scallops? Uh, yeah, baby scallops. Oh. All right. And broccoli, and apparently these are the pieces that were cooked in the broth. Would that be correct, Ishinabe-san? Uh, right, and then they were smothered with a bonito shaving. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. At first look, I thought here was one that was going to be a strictly Japanese dish, but the use of cheese there makes it a hybrid effort. For sure. For the Iron Chef. Yes. Challenger Joe seems to be in complete control of things here. He, it goes without saying that he's a great French chef.
chef, but it becomes more apparent when observing him, he even scolds his assistants in fluent French. He's a real treat to watch. All right, and look oh, at this. Yeah, that is so pretty. What is it? Uh, zucchini flowers. Okay, nice. probably uh -huh. from another veggie there. Uh -huh. Right, he's wrapping the mousse. Uh, very interesting, with these thinly uh, sliced scallops as well inside. Okay. In a zucchini flower. Unbelievable. Cousin? Yes. That's exactly right. This is a mixture of the fish paste that we saw a moment ago, fresh cream and broccoli, all sandwiched in between scallops. All right, thanks, Ota, and all of it sandwiched by scallops right yeah, that's there. That's right, yeah. All right, what an intriguing offering from the challenger. And now back on the Iron Chef side, Nishi Nabi-san, what about it? Um, huh? I think I guessed wrong. Okay, looks like a salad there. Yeah, more like a salad. The stems of the broccoli, I think. Right, the stems. Ah. Okay. Kusan, yes. I asked the Iron Chef how many dishes he's shooting for, and he replied, I think I can manage five today, and I may make a dessert if I have time. Back All to right. You. Five and maybe dessert. Great. Uh -oh. Always on the attack. Mm. And especially today, going against a challenger of the caliber of Joe, he knows that he's got to be aggressive. And now Joe's side swirling that sauce. It's on ice. Yeah, I can explain this. It's a okay. consomme at the bottom mm -hmm. and a broccoli potage on top. Okay, so in effect, it's almost like a royale then. Ah, yeah, yes. right, right. Okay, and this would be served chilled then. Right, yes, yeah, served In cold. jelly form? Yeah, right you are. All right, and still on the challenger side, steaming operation in progress right there for the stuffed zucchini flowers. Whoa, and the Iron Chef now looks to be working on uh, some tempura, zucchini tempura. Hey, even I can call that one. <laughs> looks like it. Are you sure, though? <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, the former prime minister pledges it'll be a tempura. <laughs> 15 minutes And 15 to go. minutes remaining in the battle. Uh-huh. Oh. Looks like he's trying uh, to work his offerings in with the patterns on the plate is the challenger. Yeah, I think so. He's got wild asparagus here. Wild asparagus? Didn't know they had that. Well, yes, the wild ones, technically speaking, are not asparagus. Okay, but they sure do resemble asparagus. Oh, yeah, yeah. And uh, the man definitely has an affinity for vegetables. And yes, Mr. Prime Minister, you got it. It's the only one I can call. <laughs> you are just warming up, sir. <laughs> oh, look at that. Okay, Challenger Joe still on the sauce. As Iron Chef Michiba. Now, hmm, are these papayas? Yeah, papaya. Yes, papaya. Okay, well, he's been all over the culinary map today. And why stop now? Papayas being used by the Iron a Chef. Side. Yes. A quick side note on the Iron Chef's uh, use of papaya. He was actually looking for strawberries but he realized that they're not in season at the moment, so he settled on papaya. All right, thanks, Ota. Now, here's Joe's sauce, butter, yeah. going into that one, really condensing that one down, trying to find favor with the ultimate flavor of the only sauce he's making today. Yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> yes. Let me give you what I have as the main ingredients in the challenger sauce, noedi, prat, liqueur, cognac, shallots, and butter. All right, we make note of that. Ten thanks, Ota. Now, go. ten minutes left in the battle. Mm, only one sauce? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yes. You're not going to believe this. The broccoli that you see the Iron Chef working with has sugar added to it. <laughs> wow. Sugar on broccoli. Oh, dessert. Sugar and lemon. And what is that? All right. Let's see there. He's got uh, sherry. Okay. Sherry. So yeah. definitely a dessert from the Iron Chef. Uh, it has to be. So interesting. <laughs> That's an understatement. <laughs> you guys How are in harmony over there. How does he come up with these there. ideas? Okay. It's amazing. <laughs> All right, is this Challenger Joe early in the game already, finishing up a number of items and a great-looking platter he's got there. Ah, stuffed oh, zucchini man. flowers. Boy, wouldn't that be a hit at a party or mm -hmm. even a prime minister's reception? Chris, huh? Yes. Challenger Joe was mumbling to himself when he heard the 10 minute to go call. Uh, he was saying, uh, not a lot of time, but I think I can pull it off. Now, I'm not sure if that's confidence or he's just showing his game face. All right, maybe playing possum, too. No signs of any trouble over there with clock management. And here, Michiba's dessert. Uh, yeah, there. Iron Chefs. And how about what he's pouring on here? Uh, it looks like just yogurt or maybe fresh cream with a bit of yogurt in it. Okay. Um, that's what it looks like to me, but, you know, Michiba thought it could be coconut milk. Right, you know. Oh, yes, I was going to say that. Yeah. I think it's <laughs> coconut milk. Okay, we'll see. But you know, michiba san it could be coconut milk. Ah, uh, yes, I was going to say that. <laughs> I think it's coconut milk. All right, we'll see. kaipa san you're okay with sweets? Yo, I'm okay. In fact, I like it a lot. You like sweets? Yes. All right, but I'll bet you've never had a broccoli dessert or broccoli ice cream before. Never. <laughs> never, but it'll be a great experience. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, yes, yes. Yeah, we're not sure why, but Michiba-san is suddenly very irritated about something, and he's yelling at his assistants, which is very uncharacteristic of him. Hmm. All right, and yes, you can see his body language, expression, as if some frustration is set in. 
He thinks he's behind or what? I don't know. Don't know. Now on Joe's side, one sauce he's serving today. Is this it? Uh, maybe not. This is just another dressing to add. Okay. Uh, without this, it would just be a broccoli-less dish. So. Okay, and couldn't have that with right, the theme right. ingredient. You've got to use that, incorporate that in every offering. And But what about his sauce? What, what he hopes to be his killer sauce? What dish is that going to go on? Or uh, has that gone on any of the, the dishes yet? No, I don't think it's on yet. Oh, Hasn't been put on yet? No, I think it will be revealed shortly, though. Do you have any idea? No, nope, not Okay, at all. sorry. Uh, <laughs> I'm just really anxious. I want to see what he decides to do with the sauce. Uh, meantime, the platter does continue to get better looking by the moment. Now the Iron Chef lobster onto the plate and the Italian style one, kind of a lasagna back in the oven. Got to give that one some more bake time as uh, we get right up on top of it. Yeah, I think it's to get it the final charring on the surface. Okay, and man alive, look at that. This is so interesting. Oh, wow, the broccoli tempura finding its place right alongside the lobster. I'm so impressed that he actually fried the broccoli. Yeah, that's a good point. It's really nice when it's fried, just mm -hmm. lightly like that. Mm -hmm. Looking great. Uh, we're down to three and a half minutes. Go ahead, Ota. Yeah, we just got word that Michibasan is going to write out his menu back to you. Menu now? After he's just about done with the cooking? Okay. <laughs> oh, boy. Hasn't uh, reached for the brush yet, though. Still working on some finishing touches, but looks to have it pretty much under control. Now on the challenger side, his Royale style soup. A cold one it is. And uh, we can make out some tomato pieces, I believe, right there. Oh, uh, yeah. There okay, you go. and they've got the ice cream finished on their side. The circle mold effort is in the books, I believe. Yep. So uh, that would be three dishes so far confirmed on Joe's side. Three minutes left. Now the Iron Chef begins to write. Yes, it is. Let's see what he calls them. Which one are you talking about? All right, swinging back to the challenger here and late in the going, starting to make some cotton candy right there and oh. a pretty good amount of it. <laughs> and where would he be going with this one, Ishinabe-san? What do you think? Well, this is pretty traditional, I think, sometimes to put on ice cream or under ice cream. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, that one came up right away. I remembered Iron Chef Sakai doing that during the dessert battle, coming up with some cotton candy. But I don't believe you want to be trying this at home. Oh, <laughs> no. Messy. Oh, no. no way. All right. So the cotton candy will be put to use together with the broccoli ice cream. So says Ishinabe-san, make it even sweeter. But uh, Ishinabe-san, what about the sauce? Has he poured that on top of anything yet? No, not yet. No. You know, I think that's going to be his last job. I going. guess so. Yeah. Okay, now the Iron Chef. One, two, three, four items so far on his menu right there. Mm. And now, let's see, a fifth one starting to write. Said he was aiming for five. One minute And now to a go. minute to go, the final 60 seconds. Uh, yeah, it was yogurt after all. Uh -huh. Okay, so now here is the sauce, right? Okay. Yes, this okay, is Okay, all ready, and now we'll find out where it goes on what item he'll pair it up with. Uh, yeah. Or... I guess perhaps he could wait till serving, right? Probably. He just might have been planning that all along. Yeah, I think it'll be separate for a while. Uh, okay, after all our conjecture, he's got the last laugh then. Joe will wait for the tasting segment, then we'll find out just where this sauce fits in the scheme of things of his dishes today. 30 seconds to go. 30 seconds left now. Michiba really under pressure in this one. A double whammy with the opponent, one of the most confident and capable ones we've seen, and the theme ingredient being hamstrung by the chairman's choice of broccoli. And now Joe going for the bubbly, while the Iron Chef continuing to fine-tune to the very end. The challenger appears to have things lined up go. in his favor, but Iron Chefs are known for coming through with flying flavors Five when the chips seconds. are down, and Michiba's Three, definitely got two, his back to the wall in this one. one. Final seconds tick down, and that's it! The cooking's done, the broccoli battle is over! A wonderful job. Oh, I'm tired. Well, Starting yeah. to sweat all of a sudden. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but you were in control all the way through. No, no, I was, it was tough. Huh? It was tough. Tough? Yeah. But my assistants did a great job, so uh -huh. I was uh, able to prepare the kind of food I had in mind, I think. The problem is the uh, taste, you know. <laughs> well, how did it turn out? Okay, I think, yeah. yeah. The ice cream has a nice green spring color um, to it, yeah. All right. So, how was that hour? Now, uh-huh. You know, yes. today, I tried to be ahead of things, well, at first, by about 10 minutes. Wow, good planning. You know, if I'd had the time, I was going to make two more dishes. Oh, really? Two? I had the ideas, but, well, you know. Wow, that's... Today, as usual, I give myself 96 points. 96 out of 100, all right. 
Challenger Joe is offering four dishes. First, cream of broccoli on consomme, a double-decker creation with cream of broccoli floating atop a layer of consomme jelly. The consomme helps neutralize the strong smell of broccoli. Second, broccoli and crab, Charlotte style, served in a medallion form. A slight tinge of bitterness to the naturally sweet broccoli enhances the flavor of the crab meat. Omar lobster and flour zucchini with broccoli sauce. Joe takes extra pride in this one. The firm texture of Omar lobster is celebrated with the thick broccoli sauce. The elements are harmonized by a specially made truffle sauce, which you'll add just prior to serving. And last is broccoli ice cream. Honey is used to sweeten the natural flavor of broccoli to just the right degree, creating a one-of-a-kind dessert perfect for the spring. Iron Chef Michiba is offering five dishes. First, cheese, scallops, and broccoli salad, Japanese flavor, which is provided by soy sauce and wasabi. The three ingredients match quite well with the help of dried benito shavings used as a dressing extra. Second, broccoli stem and crab salad, a dish designed primarily to enjoy the difference in textures. Boiled shredded broccoli stems accompanied by a sour French style dressing and used as a platform to enjoy the seafood. Fried lobster and vegetables, a bold and straightforward solution for experiencing the inherent impact of broccoli. Normally a supporting player, the broccoli here takes center stage along with the lobster. Tasters will have a chance to enjoy both in three different sauces. Sautéed in baked seafood straddling the borders of Japanese and Italian cooking. The firm texture of the octopus is the accent in a magnificent tomato flavored dish enhanced by the aroma of tarragon. Last is papaya and broccoli and yogurt. He made this after hearing the challenger would have dessert. The gentle sweetness of the yogurt helps mask the smell of young broccoli. A sauce specialist extraordinaire. A diner at his place cleans their plate. Six years of training in four European countries provide the foundation for a man who's worked his way to the top of French cuisine. Today's challenger, Etsuo Joe, says he'd like to go against all three Iron Chefs, but he'll settle for a one-on-one -on -one with Iron Chef Japanese Roksaburo Michiba. Chairman Kaga unveils the theme. Something with the twist is what he was looking for. An abundance of broccoli. And challenger Joe, cool and confident throughout, will try to score with his finishing four. Iron Chef Michiba up against it, needs to thrive with his five. And now the moment of truth, tasting and judgment. On the panel today for the broccoli battle are actress Mayuko Takata, former Prime Minister Toshiki Kaifu, and his wife Sachio Kaifu, and songwriter Yasushi Akimoto. First, the dishes of challenger Joe. We can feel the true essence of broccoli in this dish. The natural flavor is not killed at all. Thank you, sir. Mm. To me, the harmony between consomme and broccoli was rather surprising because I have never thought about putting them together. It's very good. Thank you very much. Well, um, please try it with the caviar sauce. Caviar. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Oh, this is so good. You've used caviar because we have Mr. Kaifu here. I know if it were just me, uh, well, <laughs> we wouldn't be finding caviar. Yeah. And now Joe to serve his Omar lobster zucchini flour and lay on the truffle sauce. Everything so far has been made up of combinations I, I never imagined. And on top of that, my perception of broccoli is like a lump of green stuff, but it's um, chopped up and used like a dressing in this dish. This is a great design. Also, in terms of texture, it's really good. This truffle sauce is so wonderful. You combine so many different ingredients, yet uh, the broccoli, which is almost a liquid here, is what appeals most in my mouth. This is a masterpiece. People say that French dinners are great when every course is perfected and you enjoy every dish. 
I think that's exactly what I've just had. You know, when chefs try to be different just for the sake of being different, there's, well, always that risk of them failing. Uh, this one is so well done. The broccoli, it's, well, blended so nicely with the ice cream here. I really like this. I like it a lot. And now up the dishes of Iron Chef Michiba. This is what broccoli is all about. We don't use dried banana shavings like this, do we? <laughs> I, I only get broccoli in plain, just with the mayonnaise. Mm, the cheese tastes so good with bonito shavings. And the way you boil broccoli, its texture, and the green color is so wonderful. I'm simply amazed as a housewife right now. <laughs> this salad has a bit of a Western flavor. The dressing is quite oily, and that's why there's a nice balance. If you use citrus juice, I think it would be a bit overpowered. So, mm. <laughs> I think this is it's fabulous. It's so perfect. You know, a lot of people come up to me and say, you're putting on a show, right? Well, I'm not. This is really great. I'll wave my hand like this when I'm not putting on a show. <laughs> I'll give you a sign. This is really great. And Michiba now serving his sautéed and baked seafood. Josan is such a fine French chef, so I knew I had to do something, you know, special to fight back. I wanted a powerful twist at this point. I knew I'd lose without, you know, an extra element here. Well, when I ate this, I was thinking this must be what the chefs at his restaurants have for their lunches. <laughs> but it's, it's a nice, warm, uh, home-style dish. It's very hearty. Yes, may I say something? Why don't you serve this to President George Bush? You know, he once told the press that he wasn't too crazy about broccoli, and it actually made the news. I like this one, though. I heard Joe-san shouting dessert, so I made this. I never imagined broccoli can be put together with something sweet like this, and the yogurt is not so overpowering either. I'm not saying this is bad, but what is the point of putting these two together? I mean, I think I like it, but... Now, Joe-san's approach, well, he used broccoli in the same way that he used caviar and uh, truffles, using, well, all, all of his, his creativity. On the other hand, the Iron Chef, he came up with real down-to-earth suggestions of how to use broccoli as, well, as a main dish at home, and that was apparent throughout all of his dishes today. I think he went to the extent of being, well, you could say an evangelist of uh, broccoli, an ambassador of sorts. Uh, that's his greatness, really. Time to vote. Former PM should be familiar with that. The verdict when we return. パニンの捜査の盗む料理界ではこれほど大きな犯罪はありません。しかし事実、日本の料理界の歴史はその盗みの積み重ねで作られてきたのです。今日のこのお二人の熱き戦いは、日本料理界の若き人材に大きな光を
Nakajima. It was the darkest before the dawn, but able to pull it off and winner of 11 in a row. And what a scene. Michiba and Challenger Joe coming together. Mutual respect and admiration. Sakai, the former PM, and his wife. Everyone in here today having been witness to such a fantastic battle. Joe showing us his soft magic, but in the end showing us what it takes to win. Iron Chef Japanese Roxano Michiba. Yeah. <laughs>